This is Science Quest. With your host, Jed Allen Friel. Everything science. Is science. Hi, I'm Jed Allen Friels, and thanks for joining me today on Science Quest. Today we've traveled to Washington Island, Wisconsin to visit the Dolomite Limestone Cliffs that are located here on the western shore. Now to get to the Dolomite Limestone Cliffs here on Washington Island, we have to travel three miles across Washington Harbor out into Green Bay. The only accessible means to the base of the cliffs is by water. So today we've chosen as our mode of transportation across this water, jet ski. So grab your life jackets and climb on board as we head over to talk about the long-term principles of long-term erosion in the Dolomite Cliffs of Washington Island. arrived here on the western shores of Washington Island and we're just south of what's called the Dolomite Cliffs actually looking out over Green Bay now when we first landed we landed on what appeared to be a white sand beach only it's not a white sand beach at all it's actually a beach made up of millions and millions and millions of little pieces of Dolomite little bitty rocks let's take a closer look as we bend down to take a look at these rocks you can see that each one of them has been eroded in some type of way in its own pattern. Now what you got to remember is these rocks are almost 400 million years old. They're actually little pieces of calcium magnesium carbonate that originated way back in the Silurian period. Like I said, that was almost 400 million years ago. So now one might ask themselves, where did all these millions of little bitty rocks come from? Well, they actually came from those dolomite cliffs that we drove by just a few moments ago. Let's take a walk down our rock beach and I'll explain how all that happened. Hey, we've made our walk down the beach and we're standing here at the base of the dolomite cliffs on Washington Island. You'll notice these cliffs are a whole lot bigger once we're standing here underneath them than they were as we were traveling down the jet ski. You can see these cliffs have blocks of stone. And the blocks of stone don't look round at all like our little dolomite rock. Well, I wonder why. So let's think about long-term erosion. Sometime over the past 100,000 or 200,000 years, or maybe even 2 million years, a chunk of rock fell off this dolomite cliff and landed right here at the base of the cliffs. And eventually these rocks will be pounded against each other. And then they'll be washed in and out of the surf. And as they continue to wash in and out of the surf, over time they'll become smaller and smaller and smaller. And the corners will become rounded and rounded. You know, kind of like that rock tumbler that your grandma or grandpa might have got you when you were a little kid. That rock tumbler kept tumbling and tumbling these little bitty rocks. Well, it's just like one great big rock tumbler. It just keeps tumbling the rocks over and over and over until eventually those rocks are so small that they get washed up on the beach. If you're ever traveling and you find a beach like this with millions of little beautiful rocks, make sure you leave those little rocks lay right where they are. It took them over a million years to get where they were going. The last thing they need is you taking them someplace else. So, standing here at the Dolomite Cliffs, let's remember that science is always a quest for answers. And you might just find the answers at a really, really cool place like the Dolomite Cliffs on Washington Island. I'm Jed Allen Friels, and thanks for joining me today on Science Quest.